What's going on, everybody? Ooh, let me make sure I mute this. Happy, what is it, Tuesday? No, it's Wednesday. Yeah, happy Wednesday, guys. Glad to see you. It's who's in the chat. Scott, how's it going? Pac-Man, Sean, what's, good? what's up? Hardy Dixon Flipper. Hey, Justin, what's up? Vicky, Justin's actually awake. Yeah, if you guys are awake in the morning, catch this show. I think he comes on about like 7, 7.15. I'm getting the kids ready, and by the time I get the kids to school, I catch them right at the end. Cha-ching, just made fitty. Nice. Nice job, Sean. Today was an okay day. Okay, okay day here. Um, Sean, sorry, just looking. You posted something in the Facebook group. Uh, Sean. So the uh, this thing you posted in the Facebook group, if you guys aren't part of the Facebook group, uh, make sure you head over there and request, and we'll preview to get in. Uh, you had a question about that, and that is it takes a little ball uh, for uh, little pucks that are balls. They're not pucks, but they shoot them out. It's uh, by Franklin, I believe. One sale today, nice diesel, hard dicks flipper, five. Uh, what do I have today? I have eight and then nine. So here's an update. This I just sold on Poshmark, twenty-five dollars. I paid ten after fees. I'm profit ten, so one hundred percent profit. Uh, Sean, yes, it's for hockey. So like uh, for kids practicing in the driveway, you can buy a set of Franklin balls and you can pop them in there, and they spit them out. Like uh, do I? I don't think I have one here. It's, just, it's like a baseball, but it's smooth on all sides, almost like a lacrosse ball or a field hockey ball. Donna had one. Awesome. Uh, I did get my wholesale. So my wholesale, I had three boxes. Uh, two were 70 pounds. One was, I think, 40 or something like that. Uh, got two of them today. I should get the next one tomorrow. I'm going to make a video, so stay tuned. I'm going to try and do a vlog on it, but uh, uh, FedEx only brought two of them today. I'll finish it off tomorrow, and I'll show you what I got. Vicky, four sales. Nice. Four solds, I should say. One, it looks like everybody at least got a couple. Jay Jewett, what's going on? Got some poundage. Yeah, Land Shark. It's my biggest wholesale purchase to date. So we'll see how it turns out. Just because I decided to do it because uh, I purchased those jerseys and I went short. Uh, I should have bought a lot more than I did in the third jerseys. And I only have four left. So I think I sold, shoot, a ton of them. Sold a ton, and I could have bought more, but I was uh, a little conservative. So when I do my other episode, when we talk about wholesale. You gotta being conservative sometimes hurts. Star City Picker, what's up? Hey Eric, Pac-Man, was it in used? Can was it a USD connection? Yeah, Pac-Man, it was my source in Buffalo. Hey Eric, what's up? Yeah, I moved it. <laughs> uh, Mike, I moved it. So I started, uh, you can see there, there's, whoops, there's my extra large, large, medium, and small. I bought a new hanging rack because that though they're all full, so I bought a new hanging rack. Uh, I'm going to get them hung up tomorrow. My daughter likes to, uh, to help out. Scott, yes, it was an ASD connection. Sorry. I thought you meant United States. So yeah, I bought another rack and we get those hung up. What's nice about these that came in is they're already all on hangers. They're a little heavy to hang, so I'm probably not gonna hang them. My other lot, let's see if I could show you. My other lot over there, right? There's my other hang rack I get get out of the box. And there's my big box I haven't opened yet. And there's the smaller box. So that was the light of the box. But yeah, that one right there is 70 pounds. Um, all of the same item, different sizes. So hopefully it pays off. We'll see. 24 picker at the gym again. Nice. All right. So I uh, hit up a brand new thrift store today. This thrift store is down near OSU's campus, Ohio State University. I decided to pick it up because my wife forgot her stuff in uh, her regular car. I took a regular car to get an oil change, so she forgot it. So I had to bring it down to her. I said, hey, I'm going to hit a thrift store right where I'm down here. 
kids stuff's crept into the kids area or my stuff's crept in the kids area. Yeah. So I'm trying to, uh, that's where I'm trying to organize it all. I'm trying to get it back into my corner back over there. Hang your sign or no more listing for you. <laughs> yeah. I got to hang it up. Uh, all right. So I showed you what picked up. Uh, one haul I'm not going to show you tonight. I'll probably show, maybe tomorrow I'll show you, but I paid, uh, not, I think I paid 96 for that one. For this one, I paid 41, 41.79. There's my 41.79. Love those large single item multiple size lots. Yeah, so I have 300 pieces of time of it. And what's great is these like this. I have 30 of those. It's the same listing up. It just just ride, let it ride. All right, so I had some awesome things here. I did leave behind uh, some Peter, uh, three Peter Millar medium polo shirts. Uh, just because they're plain shirts, they're 100% cotton. Those aren't moving too well for me. The Peter Millar summer comforts are where it's at. Those things sell like crazy. So that's why I left those behind. Plus, I found a lot of cool stuff. I said I could probably sacrifice those three, uh, depending on holding on to it. I love picking up these plain Columbia shirts. All, all these shirts I'm showing you are $4. Plain Columbia, Omni Shade or Omni Wick, whatever it's called. Omni Shade, just a plain one. So I always buy those. Uh, must, so the local colleges in Ohio, there's a bunch of local liberal arts schools. Uh, I tend to pick these up. These were actually in our conference when I played at the College of Worcester. But uh, Under Armour, I couldn't pass these up. The lo local liberal arts schools still do very well for me, but this is an Under Armour pullover. Muskium lacrosse. There was a couple of these, so I got that pullover. I got this red polo shirt. Again, 2XL. The large sizes do well. So that one. And then I picked up this hoodie. I almost left this behind just because it's a plain uh, Muskium lacrosse with the year 2015. But what really drew me to it was this. Thermofit. The Thermofit Nike stuff does really well. I especially check if you're buying hoodies, make sure the strings in it. I bought one that didn't have the string once and it didn't do too well. So make sure the strings in there. And then there you go. So look for these, the hoodies that's, they move pretty quickly and they're really warm too. So Tanya porch thieves stole and brought back my thrift store. Find what? I guess once they opened it, they didn't think it was up to their standards. Oh no. Hey, John, what's going on? Thanks for coming. Pac-Man, I wish I bought more on Black Friday. We were almost sold out of our bulk buy. Yeah, that's the thing, right? You, you tend to go conservative because you're like, I don't know if I should spend that much capital for the prod, uh, for all this product. But then a week or two later, you're sold out. And you're like, man, why didn't I buy all that stuff? <laughs> Eric, you picking Worcester, really? So there's my, uh, I'll show you my jersey. Oh, that's going to fall. So Eric, there is my, there's my Worcester jersey right there, College of Worcester, hung on the wall for posterity. Hey Mike, what's going on? Uh, all right, University of Indiana. There was a ton of sports polos here. Like th this stuff will do really well. Adidas also, sewn in, nice color, no snags. None of these things have snags in them, which is awesome. Well, Vicky says, yesterday I found at the thrift store two old tri Tripoli games. I sold one of those sealed. I think it was like 27 or 30 bucks. Sold 30 minutes after listing. Yeah, if you guys can find those Tripoli, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, those games do well, especially uh, sealed. Gift wrap your death pile items and set them on your porch. That's a great idea. <laughs> RV flips asking how everybody's sales been. It sounds like they've been all right for some of them. Some people picking some books in Worcester today. Nice. Hey, Vicky. Oh, you teach at Wayne College in Orville. Awesome. Orville, the home of, uh, isn't that the home of Smuckers? Uh, Browns. Brown stuff is technic, uh, pretty much sells really quickly. So if you find brown stuff, I say pick it up just because I like the Browns. But a lot of times, I just sold a Browns polo shirt today. Polo shirt for 20 bucks. All right, this one's cool. This one's brand new with tags. Look at that. The North End 
uh, Landshark, Craig, if you're in here, uh, he picked up a, a poker North End shirt. This is a – so what's great about this, not only is it a pullover, not only is it Columbus Blue Jackets, but that's really cool. It's new, and it has Labatt Blue on the arm. So that alone, that's cool right there. I find that the beer stuff on the sports kind of like multiplies it. I find I can command a higher price if there's some sort of alcohol or beer on it. I found a couple other cool alcohol beer stuff in here. Browns fans are true fans. That is right. Hey, they may might they might make the playoffs. We'll see. Michelle sold nothing today. Oh no. Linda, three sales. Nice. None have paid. Ooh, that sucks. I hate that. <laughs> Sold two Monopoly Millennium board games I found. $58. Awesome. Uh, let's see. All right, here's a cool one. This is one of my favorites of the day. All right, here's awesome. So far, Justin, I told you I'd have 20 listings up today. So far, I have done, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have six more. Uh, all right, here's uh, this one's awesome. So this is uh, Sport Tech. Then, then the brand, not too good. But look at that. Awesome. Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey patch as well as Pabst Blue Ribbon patch on the arm. Totally awesome. I love this thing. That's awesome. And it's white with nothing, nothing wrong with it, which is surprising. Well, there is a little, very little snag right there. I don't know if you can see it. Very small. But, hey, Darren, what's up, buddy? PBR rules. I don't know about that. It's amazing what you get down when you get some rest, Chris. Nice polos. Oh, when you get done. Yeah, Tracy, exactly. Get, get some rest. Baker Mayfield. Yeah, Baker Mayfield. He's he's a breath of fresh air for the Browns, that's for sure. Uh, this brand does really well for me. If you guys find this, definitely pick this up. Uh, Pearl Izumi. It's like the I with the, the O or Q, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it's kind of distinctive. You can see right there, it's all on the shoulders. This is a double extra large. It's the bike shirts with the back, the three pockets in the back. These tend to sell really quickly for me, uh, almost within the day. So if you find these, this is the second one I found, uh, I think this week. Pick those up because they can sell for a pretty penny, 29 25 to 30 bucks. Uh, this one I'm not so sure of. It's an Under Armour. I don't like the Under Armours that have this logo. Uh, I don't know if it's an older Under Armour because now usually the newer Under Armours are all screen printed. But it's, uh, it's a local golf course. I couldn't leave it behind. It had to come along. My dad drank PBR. Ooh. Uh, this one, I like this one, Rattlesnake Cup. I have to look this up. Unique polos, unique hats. Definitely look them up. Thanks, Darren, for the super chat. I appreciate it. Rattlesnake cup. Remember, I sold that Rattlesnake Island hat for 40 bucks. So that's kind of what drew me to that one. Trace's at work needs more coffee. I had a Starbucks around. Uh, Starbucks is usually the one that makes me jittery. So if I see more jittery than normal, I think I had it around 6 o'clock. So I'm kind of buzzing. Uh, this is really cool. I really like this one. This one has the uh, the zipper is really shiny. But what's even cooler is two cool things about this one. It's Under Armour. Too bad it's not my size. It's size medium. So see how the Under Armour is screen printed? I find those are the newer ones that are a lot nicer than the tags. But if you guys find anything tools, pick it up. Look at that. Milwaukee tools. Really awesome shirt. I'm going to price this high. I might price this at 39. I'll probably take 30 or 35 for it. It's got Milwaukee on the back. It's got Under Armour in the arm. So this, I think this along with my Jack Daniels, I would say is the find of that haul or this haul, I should say. But definitely some good things. 
Uh, last thing I picked up from this store, and it's a little farther out. It's probably like 15 minutes away. It's still in Columbus. Columbus is pretty big. But uh, they had a lot of nice stuff. It was a really nice store. Stuff was not, it wasn't like messy. Surprise. Uh, Nike team. If you guys can find the Nike team, and you'll see it'll say Nike, right? Or team right under the Nike orange logo there. Double extra large. Uh, Kansas University tends to sell quickly for me. Uh, so if you guys can find that school, it does well. So that was all $41. Um, sold a vintage jock strap like that. Wait, what? Oh, new old stock. Nice. Um, you guys remember this? Showed you this the other night. I then I just listed it. This thing really cool. Probably one of the nicer things I've found. This is, I like it, just the color and sewn. I like in a fabric when you can see the detail of all the sewn, uh, Letters and logos. Plus, it's got play like a champion on the arm. I took best offer today, thirty-five bucks. So five to thirty-five. But yeah, rock chalk stitching, and that's right, Craig. So that and it's majestic. Majestic, majestic's a great brand. Again, pick majestic up when you can. And uh, Scott, you had mentioned uh, OGO shirts. It depends. But when I do hit them, I hit them. When they sell, they sell. Uh, usually anywhere between 20 and 30. That really, they're nice shirts. That usually depends what's on them. So if you can get a unique logo or a big name logo on an OGO shirt, or OGO, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Uh, definitely look at those. Uh, so those are some good brands to look out for. But... Hopefully you guys get some more sales tonight. There's still time, so get some stuff listed. I'm going to get the rest of my other things uh, from the lot I showed you last night. Uh, I still have uh, seven more to go. One thing I did find today, and I'll end it on this, but hold on. Let me get it for you. All right. Let me move this over. So this was the find of the other hall, which I'll show you tomorrow. San Diego State, really? He's playing Ohio? Awesome. Ohio University or Ohio State? Sue Ann sold a set of plates. You still need a Christmas shop? I just ordered stuff today. Uh, I, I still need to do some. But, uh, yeah, not done yet. Hopefully all you guys are done. Just think, what, is this, was today the last day to order? If you're ordering online? Because I still need to order. All right, so last thing I'll show you for tonight, I found another Brother printer. I have not tested this one. There's no ink in it. These, this model right here, depending on what you have, so I think comps were between uh, 50 and like 80 or 100, but these are the high brand. This model number is PT2730. You can see the bigger than the last one I showed you. The last night one I listed for 30. That was PT1750. So this is a whole uh, thousandth above it, 27, what did I say 2730. So I'll probably list this for about 50, 60 bucks, but uh, definitely keep your eye out for the brother printers uh, and they print out the side there. So keep your eye out for those. And this is nice because it has the adapter, but I'll use the, the printer tape to check it. So again, keep your eyes out for the P-Touch. Oh, bowl game. I was thinking basketball there. I might turn that on. All right, guys. That's all I had tonight. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have that wholesale video out hopefully tomorrow. I'm supposed to get my third box. Uh, I'll try and edit it something tomorrow during the day, but I have my haircut tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see. And I'll ship in the morning again. Hopefully, you guys get some more sales tonight. Have a great evening. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you.